Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Adventures in Dog Training with American Standard Dog Training and DIYK9.com. And this is Mr. Chow's Take Home. So come along for the ride. We're going to show you a little bit what it looks like when we bring a dog that's finished training in our off-leash program and we bring him home and we teach the owner how to maintain his training going forward. Ready to go. Oh, big fluffy. Oh. All right, ready to hit the road. All right, only question you need to ask yourself when you're in the Jeep is if we're gonna go top down or a top open. And a uh, beautiful day out, a little hot, but we're gonna go top open, baby. What's up, Bubba? <laughs> Living his best life. When we picked him up about six weeks ago, somebody left the door open and Mr. Chow took off running down the street uh, like he owned the whole neighborhood. Uh, he played the runaway game. One of the most dangerous games that a dog can play that I cannot stand is the runaway game. That's as you get closer, they just run away. It doesn't matter how much you call them or, or what you have in your hand or how you try to lure them back to you, they're not coming back. And that was Mr. Chow all day. So basically he could not be allowed anywhere off leash because he would just run for the hills. Now, today, the big test is gonna be what does Mr. Chow do when he's back in his neighborhood where he used to run around uh, thinking he owned the place? And uh, what we expect is amazing off-leash obedience, recalls, and a perfect heel down the sidewalk or the street or wherever Roly wants to take him. So that's gonna be one of the things we look for in this video. Will he uh, recall in that same front yard that he used to play the runaway game from? That's gonna be a huge test for him today. So we're about to find out. One of our specialties that sets us apart from all the other dog trainers out there is that after a lengthy board and train program, we don't spend 15 or 30 minutes, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, here's your dog bag, good luck. We offer a lifetime guarantee on the performance of our dogs that we train because we spend hours teaching the owner how to maintain the behavior so that the dog looks to them as a leader and no longer as a joke or as a clown or as the teacher, the substitute teacher that they don't listen to. No, no. All right, folks, we made it here to Roly's house. We got Mr. Chow, I hasn't seen him in a few weeks. And now we're gonna be transitioning back home and teaching Roly a lot of stuff he needs to know to handle uh, Mr. Chow going forward. Are you excited to see him? Super excited. All right, we'll make it happen. We'll see you inside. Come on, Chow. Good. Stay. Boom. That's how it's done. She runs the house. Look at her go. How long has he been on the place board? Five minutes. All right, has he come off at all? He has not even moved. Right, that's right, that's the rules of the game. Place means place means place, and he's gonna stay on there another 30 good minutes. Good boy, Mr. Chow. That's right. And if he does good, hey, we can go back over and pay him some more. It pays to be a winner, it pays to listen, and now he gets some payment. Good boy, Mr. Chow. Yep. As long as he's doing the job he's asked to do, he gets big bucks for that, big bucks. Pet him, love him, praise him, feed him, whatever you want, all kinds of magical things happen on the place board. Yeah. Now, if you come off the place board when you're not supposed to, uh, that's not good for him, right? We say channel your inner Gordon Ramsay. We're asking him to stay on the food prep station, cut those carrots, mm -hmm. chop those onions, do a wonderful job. If you do, I come over and I pet you and I pay you. But if you come off the station when you're not supposed to, Gordon Ramsay is gonna be on your ass and say, hey, Stop being a donkey and get back on the place for it. You donkey! What's his motor at? Zero. No, it's a zero's asleep. That's zero. Oh. Right? So if he's up and about, he's 20, 25, 30. My thought is he's about 25, maybe peaking to 30. There is something he wants water or he wants to hang out or he's bored. He is thinking about coming off. Now, when he comes off, he needs to get pressure. He knows this game. He knows what he's supposed to be doing. I don't want him to ever beat the pressure. You never beat the pressure. The pressure will always win. So you must always be in compliance. So if you're interested in how you can get your dog to be the best version of themselves, make sure you check out our online courses available at DIYK9.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the courses. Yes. Blue. Yes. Blue. Yes. Good, 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 good. No, good, good, no, no, good, 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 good blue, 
red. Yes, smart pup. Again, this is not to make fun of you or anything, it's so you understand what the dog's learning. I now have an e-collar command, right? And let's see if it works. I don't have to say anything. Let's see what happens. Good. And what also happens? Perfect. Hold this in your hand. All right. This is real life. Don't let me get hit by a car. Call me back. Heel. Hit by a car. Okay. The reason I had you hold the hat, you got to dump that thing. You got to dump it. In real life, you probably won't have that in your hand. Got it. You're going to have a drink in your hand, your phone. Oh. And so you gotta be quick. All right, so we've been here about an hour and a half, maybe even two hours, and Roly's done an excellent job with the e collar He's used it on me, we've used it on him, and now we're ready to take Mr. Chow on his maiden voyage with the new uh, skipper behind the wheel, if you will, the new Let's captain. Do it. And we'll see how, how it goes. He could not be allowed anywhere off leash because he would just run for the hills. The test is gonna be, what does Mr. Chow do? He's back in his neighborhood where he used to run around uh, thinking he owned the place. There you go. Changing directions. It requires a lot of his focus to stay with you. I think he's a rock star guy. Mr. Chow, here. Good. All right, so we're about finishing our walk around the neighborhood with Roly and Mr. Chow. And uh, what do you think about his uh, off leash healing? I think he's doing incredible. You actually turned Mr. Chow into a rock star. Now, wasn't there someone that was telling you that a chow cannot walk off leash. It can't be done. They told me that the breed was very difficult, stubborn. And from what I see, I think we, uh, we killed the stubbornness. We, yeah, we're proving everybody. <laughs> we proved everyone wrong, and That's that right. was the reason why I got a chow. Rolling on a scale of one through 10, how do we do for you? I think we're at a 10. I want to say thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much, man. You really did a, uh, you did your thing. I appreciate it, man. Thank appreciate you so much for the opportunity. Thank you for letting us train Mr. Chow. It's my first experience with a chow. And uh, if you got a chow and you want top level training, make sure to reach out to us. Actually, I think I need to take a break from a chow for a while, man. Give me something easy. Give me a golden retriever or something. He's been uh, a, a lot of work, but uh, well worth it. And um, we've proven everybody wrong that chows can be trained to a high level and he can only get better from here. That's the wonderful thing. If you stay with it and stay on top of it, he can actually continue to get better and better and better. He's gonna age like fine wine. Take him off leash, take him to a restaurant, you take him anywhere and everywhere now. I would say like Dr. Seuss, on a plane, on a train, in the rain, we expect him to perform to the highest level. So I believe it. Excellent job, man. And he's been a great student today and now he's gonna go on to be an amazing dog owner and his own trainer in his own right to make sure that Mr. Uh, Mr. Chow stays on point. So that's the name of the game. So thank you all very much for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.